is CBS 2 News at 6 p.m. A startling blast one year ago today that's still being felt in a South LA neighborhood where many still can't return to homes that were damaged. And that's because repairs still aren't finished. Some victims say the work isn't being done fast enough for them to move forward with their lives. CBS 2's Jeff Nguyen is live in the neighborhood where he spoke with people whose lives have been forever changed. Jeff? So Pat, the blast damaged or destroyed nearly 30 homes and the council office in this area says that more than half of them have had work done, including this one, which is now up for sale. Exactly a year after the botched LAPD fireworks detonation, Jose Becerra and his family say they cannot move back into their home. The city in the TV is really nice, but the truth is this, the truth is this. So please, city, come on. Down the street, other neighbors say repair work has been non-existent or too slow. The broken is with the windows, the hair. But Councilman Curran Price's office says it has secured about $6 million since the accident for temporary housing, repairs, and other services. The attorney for more than 20 neighbors say he's working for free to get the city to settle with his clients. The loss of property is about $600,000 total for all 21, and we made a claim for about $1.7 million for 21 different people. These are victims, um, and I, we are not here trying to vilify them in any way, shape, or form. The spokesperson for the councilman's office says it has received emails from lawyers to cease and desist from communicating with their clients, and many impacted are renters who may not have a say on how their landlords want to move forward. It's the worst year for everybody in my family. Price's office says Becerra's home will be furnished once custom work in these images are completed with public funds. Putting in a new HVAC system, which they didn't have, new plumbing, new electrical work. While Mr. Becerra says living in a hotel has made him vulnerable to thieves. Two months ago, they opened my car, they steal everything. My new tools, they take it. So for second time, we lose everything. And a resource center will be available over the next year at the Trinity Neighborhood Center. There, people can get help with things like mental health, food assistance, and other resources. For now, we are live in South LA. Jeff Nguyen, CBS 2 News.